Fired Up is presented in audio format wherever you listen to podcasts and in video format on YouTube. Wherever you tune in, please remember to rate and subscribe to the show. Thank you. D. Scott Crook is the Utah Employment Lawyer. Fired Up focuses on questions that he frequently receives from his professional and executive clients regarding severance, employee stock option agreements, executive employment contracts, and more. A quick disclaimer, Scott is licensed only in Utah and Idaho. As with any discussion about the law, the information on this podcast generally describes the law and is not intended as specific legal advice. As I'm sure you know, laws frequently change and can be different in different jurisdictions. So please consult with a lawyer if you have specific questions about your situation. So Scott, something that I'm curious about, am I entitled to a severance agreement? It really depends. Um, and, and the reason it depends is um, generally in Utah, and this is true in most of the, the states, um, although it may be a little bit different in some states, there is no right to severance generally in the law. Uh, Utah is an, uh, what's called an at-will state, and at-will presumption is something that's often misunderstood by people. But it simply means that people can be hired or fired for any or no reason at all, um, even a bad reason, uh, and um, you have no recourse in the law against that. Now, there are some exceptions to that rule, and we may talk about that in later um, discussions that we have. But generally, what that means is because you're not entitled to continue to work, an employer doesn't have a responsibility to provide you with any severance when they let you go. And so as a matter of um, just normal, ordinary, statutory, and common law or case-made law, you don't have a right to severance. Um, and so that's just a general proposition. And so generally, it just depends. Okay. So let's dive into it depends a little bit more because that sounds like lawyer speak. Um, when you say it depends, so when are times that you're entitled to severance in Utah? Well, there are um, there are essentially three times that you might be entitled to severance. Yeah, first of all, and this is most important with a lot of executive and professional level clients, is that they uh, they often are working with an employment agreement that is written. Most um, em you know, most employees in, in Utah or anywhere actually don't work with a, a written employment agreement. They just uh, work basically on an oral uh, promise to pay and they, and they continue to work under those conditions. But with executives and professionals, they often have employment contracts. And um, many times, although not always, as part of the negotiation of the employment contract, there may be severance provisions within the contract itself. And so uh, the first thing you'd have to look at is if you're an executive and you do have a written contract, you want to look at that to see if there is any severance provision. Uh, second scenario, and this applies um, to uh, generally non-executive level people, <laughs> and that is if there's a union contract. Um, often, as a part of union negotiations, there will be severance provisions within a union contract. So if you're part of a unionized um, a work site, you may have the right um, for... Uh, to receive severance. Now, interestingly, those both are uh, derived out of the same thing, and that's just a contract. You have a contract that said you have the right to severance, and those have been negotiated, and therefore you're entitled to them. And then the third scenario is in um, if you work for some governmental entities um, in Utah, and uh, this is true in other places as well, uh, often governmental entities will have severance provisions built into their human resource or personnel policies. Uh, they also happen to be the most unionized places, although in Utah that's not true. But throughout the country, there are more unions uh, with local government entities than anywhere else, and they often will have um, 
uh, severance provisions. Uh, um, okay. And even beyond the unionized uh, area, the governmental policies will, will exist that provide for them. Okay, very good. So even though an employer may not be required to pay severance, are there times where it's customary for them to give severance? Yeah, generally there is, a, again, the law doesn't require it, but there is a, sort of a custom to give severance in two or three situations. The first and most uh, the most obvious one, and people the one that people are most familiar with, is if there's a mass layoff. Often, part of those layoffs will include a severance uh, package. They'll provide that to an employee as they lay them off and ask them to sign. And of course, we'll talk in later um, discussions about uh, what you should look for in severance agreements, but. Um, those are often, uh, traditionally, you'll find those in those situations. Other times, um, if you are an executive, and this generally applies to what is called C-level executives, in other words, people who are working for corporations. Or average mostly, executives. Um, well, also uh, average executives as well. Right, um, because they're C-level. They're not B level. They're not A level. They're C level. That was a joke. Well, maybe we should use the laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there is a laugh track. Okay. Sorry. Let's, uh, We'll Let's go, go back, back to, to my question, question again. Another um, another time that you might expect uh, to get a severance agreement, even if there's no contractual or uh, statutory right to one, is if you're an executive, um, a high level executive, working for an employer, and 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 you're being laid off. Uh, and that's because a lot of times people want to avoid any of the. Um, any publicity. They also want to avoid having any controversy as you leave, and they don't want you to um, take employers employees with you. And so often you'll get a severance agreement that is um, provided to you at the time that you're leaving if you're a uh, an executive. Okay. And then finally, last question, should you ask for severance if it's not immediately offered to you? So, um, my advice to most of my clients when they come and see me and talk to me about this sort of thing is that it never hurts to ask. Um, uh, you're not going to be harmed by asking somebody if you, if you be entitled to severance. And in fact, a lot of times people, even though there's, you know, sort of this mythos that, you know, corporations are bad and, or that, you know, the man is down out to get you a little bit. Um, most people feel bad when they, lay somebody off unless there's, you know, unless the person being uh, let go is a, a real problem. Uh, most people feel bad. And even in those circumstances, it may be um, in the interest of the employer just to offer a small severance um, in exchange for a waiver of, a, of, of the employee's right to quit. So you're never harmed in asking. And in fact, um, if there's any opportunity for you to do it. Um, I would do it just to see if it's possible. Often too, that employers, you'll hear, you know, people will want a two weeks, uh, two weeks notice. Of course, because of that will uh, status of the law, no one's entitled to two weeks notice. Um, it's that's again, a tradition. And, but if, if your employer said, well, we want you to give us two weeks notice, if they don't give you two weeks notice, it's often, uh, customary to ask and expect that an employee would ask for severance at least for two weeks. Um, although again, it's not required, and, uh, but it, it, you're not harmed for asking. So I would, I would definitely do that in those circumstances. Okay, Scott. Well, thank you for your time. All right. Thank you. It's good talking to you. Of course.
A quick disclaimer, Scott is licensed only in Utah and Idaho. As with any discussion about the law, the information on this podcast generally describes the law and is not intended as specific legal advice. As I'm sure you know, laws frequently change and can be different in different jurisdictions. So please consult with a lawyer if you have specific questions about your situation. Fired Up is presented in audio format wherever you listen to podcasts and in video format on YouTube. Wherever you tune in, please remember to rate and subscribe to the show. Thank you.